This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied to the ring by Angelico. From Park Lane, Washington, weighing 172 pounds, Jack Evans. Jack Evans recently returning to action after a fractured jaw. And uh, there we see Angelico really, uh, wow, he is. Angelico's the man, bro. And so is Jack Evans. These guys actually, a lot of people are really good friends of mine. I mean, you know, I, you know, I know a lot of the clubs they go to. I know some of the people they know. And you see he's rocking the orange and black shoes and helico. It's not gimmick and friendship, because we're friends. You got orange and black superstars on, bro, trying to smart you up for God, shoot, see that, the sneaker game, you know what I mean? I'm just entranced by his dance moves. Like, he's just stuck. And his opponent, from Southern California, weighing 210 pounds, Frankie Kuzurian. Got an interesting matchup here, Taz. Again, between two typically tag team specialists going one on one here tonight on AEW Dark. Yeah, two guys that are, you know, know what they're doing. They're veterans, both successful, obviously. So, uh, different styles, which we have a lot on Dark. We do have Clash of Styles. We've talked about that a lot throughout this particular broadcast. And I do think that makes for excellent wrestling. You know what I mean? When you have those different styles. I certainly agree. And, uh, the styles, as you mentioned, could not be further away from one another. Well, Kazarian's all business. He's gonna play around, you know? I and mean, that's how Frankie is. That's how he's always, always has been. A student of the uh, the late, great killer Kowalski is Frankie Kazarian. Jack Evans, uh, self-taught, but obviously with a uh, inspiration from some of the great high flyers. But you know, then when he moved to Mexico, really, uh, really became I would say a, a better rounded, a more well rounded competitor as we see there. Well, he tried for a drop toe hold. Kazarian kind of blocked it. That's why he didn't, you know, get flat backed. It was a good job actually by Kazarian to block it. And Kazarian floats over into the chancery and now with the wrist lock side headlock. Yeah, he didn't want to stay in that wrist lock. I don't think he had it all, but that's why he snatched the headlock real quick and tight. It was smart by Kazarian. And, you know, Jack's trying to get out of this thing here. He's got that head wrenched. Jack Evans back and Kazarian into the ropes. Sends him off, shoulder tackle. Kazarian, oh, rolls oh. through. One, two, oh, no. We have the quick Oklahoma roll and the big hip toss oh. right there. Huge hip toss. And a deep arm drag, grounding Jack Evans. Now that bicep is talked right there, the elbow. It's a great, great lock on that, on that arm bar. It's a Jack Evans smart to turn, to keep the pressure off the elbow joint. And the bicep, I should say. We talked about the styles, the experience of both men. Can you just speak on how important it is for pro wrestlers to, to travel the world to kind of bring in other influences and in oh, different yeah. styles? It's, it's, it's super important, and it makes you just better. It makes you a world travel, makes you a world-class athlete uh, as a professional wrestler to learn all different styles. Oh, so now, now with everything going on in the world, with the pandemic and everything, it's tough. Uh, obviously for a lot of pro wrestlers to travel internationally to, to work wherever whatever country they're not from, you know? So a little more difficult now, but yeah, no, it's a very, very vital thing to uh, to become a, a, you know, a great pro wrestler. It makes you less predictable. Absolutely it does. You know, I, it really does. It helped me a lot. My time in Japan really helped me really hone my craft uh, instead of just wrestling in America. And it, a lot of guys could say the same about Japan, for, for instance. Oh, look oh. at that, Evans! Oh, distracted job, Mike yeah. Posey, the referee, and Helico hit a right hand. And then Evans hit that big, twisting kick to the face of Frankie Kazarian. Well, as you pointed out with Evans, now cover here, you know, by him being self-taught, which is just crazy to me. I mean, but it does happen. There are a lot of successful pro wrestlers that are self-taught, but then to go to Mexico and learn and pick up that style, it shows what kind of athlete Jack Evans is and the sponge and a coachable person he is to learn in another country like that. And, you know, it's impressive. Really became a more complete wrestler there. And yeah. High flying kick to across the chest. Evans covers once again. Kazarian kicks out. Well, we've talked a lot, you know, uh, whenever Angelico's wrestling or Jack or they're tagging, you know, and their style is so different, you know, than everybody else as a team, as individuals. But Kazarian just put some good old-fashioned pro wrestling chops right there. Went for a wild right hand. If that connected, that would have been the end of the night for Jack Evans. Yeah, that back elbow. He's trying to break the grip. 
And look at that, uh, working at the fingers of Evans. A swing, Evans takes him over the top. Northern Lights suplex. Yeah, he opted, oh, he's, what's this? Oh, wow. launching off the midsection of Kazarian. One, two. Frankie able to kick out. Jack Evans springing off his opponent's uh, midsection. Yeah. You see a lot of guys do stand in moonsaults, but that, <laughs> off the guy's yeah. body is crazy. Very unsteady footing there. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. Watching Helico with just a straight stomp. Driving those, those orange and shoes into the, the face of Frankie Kazarian. Superstars, bro. Orange and black superstars. And their shoes, too. Yeah, they Evans covers. And watch his foot. Good job by referee Mike Posey. He realized that Jack Evans' foot was under the rope. Can't cover a guy legally like that. There is rules in this industry. I've yet to see the proverbial rule book, but that's another story. Oh! Evans whips him down, covers. No. I think my English was off. There are rules, not there is rules. Sorry, the New York City public school system has destroyed me. You can just laugh. Mrs. Mrs. Murphy at PS 185 just weeping right now. <laughs> shut up! Yeah, exactly, Excalibur. Shut up! <laughs> On cue. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Evans twisting the arm of Kazarian. Hammer throw across the ring. Rough landing in the corner there for Frankie Kazarian. Jack Evans feels like he's got Frankie right now where and how he wants him. Kazarian struggling to get to his feet. Jack Evans charging in. Kazarian rolls through. One, two. Evans able to kick free. Tight cover on that roll through for sure. Good impressive kick out. Good crucifix. Crucifix it to a pin. Two. No. Evans able to kick out again. High roundhouse miss. Kazarian just trucked him with that back elbow. Single leg drop kick. Kazarian set to the ropes. Nope, reversed by Evans, but comes back. That big flying forearm. Well, watch Angelico. He's on the apron. Angelico. Swing. Oh, the guillotine Ooh. just planted Angelico. He knocked his damn shoes off. <laughs> what the hell? And Angelico knocked out of his shoes by Frankie Kazarian. Oh, oh, man, just decked Evans. One, two, no, Evans able to kick out. That's the thing about Evans, he's so resilient. He's able to come back from just about anything. Oh, no doubt, he can take a, a plethora of punishment while watching <laughs> Kazarian lay it on uh, uh, Jack Evans right now. Yeah, Kazarian really dishing it out. Evans, I'm not sure if he can endure much more, more of this. Kazarian off the middle rope, leg drop finds its mark. Cover, two, no, oh, wow. Well, to your point right there, Jack Evans able to kick out, showing that desire to not get beat. And Helico, no, no shoes on. Leg lariat there, as Kazarian turned around, walked right into it, covers, two. Kazarian able to kick out Jack Evans, very nearly stole one there. Yeah, this match is really just back and forth. But the uh, the influence of Angelico out there on the floor playing a crucial role. Kazarian, oh wow, look at that. He pulled Evans back into the reverse DDT, gets his leg swept out from under him. And Evans, standing sky twister press, two, oh, wow. Wow. Jack Evans as shocked yeah. as we yeah, are. No doubt. I thought he had him. These guys are just bringing it right now. Look at that. Just amazing. They are just bringing the wood, just pounding on each other here. Look at that shot right there. Great. I'm glad the director took my idea on that. That's my whole. Did you send a, you send a text message? Yeah. I hey, we're them. all Americans here. Test. Test. <laughs> Jack Evans coming in. Back elbow. He's got Frankie Kazarian staggered. Kazarian, though, reversing, sending Evans into the corner. Oh, man, Evans got the boot up. Staggered Kazarian. Oh, look, at Evans, look at Evans. Top rope, top rope. Jack Moonsault. Evans, Ooh. moonsault. <laughs> catches Kazarian in reverse DDT position. Kazarian's trying to get out. Cli oh, kicks Counted over. And, oh, God. man, just man. spiked Evans on the top of his head. Wow. SCU. The winner of this match, Frankie. Kazarian. And that match, I, I hate to use a cliche, man, but it really, literally could have went either way. It really could have went either way. Both these athletes, Evans and Kazarian, oh, watch out.
And Helico with the right hand to the back of the head. And look at this, just... He's got an ankle lock, locked in there on the right leg. And Helico and Evans continuing the assault after the bell. Whoa, whoa, wait, there's Daniels. And Christopher Daniels coming to the aid of his brother in SCU. A completely unnecessary attack here by TH2, Evans and Angelico. Well, good thing Daniels was nearby because I think that THQ were going to tear apart Kazarian. Look, that was a physical one-on-one -on -one match with Evans and Kazarian. Tell you what, both these athletes are going to have to go visit our great trainer, Bryce, to get some treatment, man. Those guys really brought it. Well, the Bryce and Kazarian victorious, but at what cost?